We're forecasting uh, an increase in the number of connected devices on the Internet of Things, uh, as it's called, to around 25 billion by the end of 2020. Uh, about 15 billion of those are consumer type devices, uh, the others more in the enterprise space. And there is much more visibility of the consumer uh, devices because perhaps people can relate to them more, uh, they're, they're things they see every day. Um, but it has to be said that most of the value lies in the enterprise areas. In terms of the, uh, the, the businesses, the industries, the sectors that will be most impacted, the largest sector by a considerable degree is going to be manufacturing. Um, giving organizations better control over their manufacturing processes. Um, but equally, you know, we're seeing a big uptake in automotive um, and in the public sector and government uh, as organizations start to use technology and connect it to create a smarter environments. Um, in the, uh, the consumer space, uh, a lot of interest in um, fitness, which over years to come will translate into healthcare as well. Um, so monitoring ourselves, things like Fitbits and smart clothing and so on. Uh, and interestingly, you know, a lot of interest in um, adding digital capabilities to everyday products as well. And that's going to be something that we see repeated time and time again as we move into the future. Clearly, by connecting things to the internet, um, there are security risks. Um, having said that, um, let's understand that the vast majority of things connected to what we call the internet of things will not be directly connected to the internet. Um, they will go into some local hub, to some aggregator. Uh, and that is a much more powerful device, a device that we can put encryption on, that we can put security, that we can protect that data. So whilst I wouldn't want to imply there are no security issues, um, I think many of the security issues are not going to be as bad as we perhaps anticipate. No one, for example, is suggesting that we're going to put critical infrastructure, a power station or something, connected to the internet. Um, but there is no doubt that we're seeing, and I've spoken to organizations here this week, um, who are putting, for example, um, sensors onto um, heavy cranes in a shipyard to monitor what is going on, to understand the strains that they're going under, so they can work out um, when they need to be serviced, when something might break, and so on. Um, that information is potentially valuable, um, but equally it isn't any particular piece of information, the reading from one sensor that matters. It's understanding the context of that reading in the context of every other reading on that crane that really makes sense. So you have to intercept everything and then you have to understand what that data means in order to gain real value from it. So whilst security is an issue, um, it's not going to stop development. Uh, and in the consumer space, for many of these consumer devices, people simply don't, don't mind. They don't regard the information uh, as being particularly valuable. I think over time, particularly as we become the subject of the Internet of Things, as we collect um, data about ourselves, personal health data, we may change our minds on that and we may be more sensitive about it. But for now, security is an issue, but it's not going to slow down development.